lightning! Yeah! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cartman and today we're going to be talking about the Wu build I've been using and I think it's pretty good. Um, also, I'm showing a variation of it. Um, so yeah, expect this video to be a little a little bit longer, Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, without long speech, we want to extend the video, I guess. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, the first trait I always go for on Vu is Flowing Fist because I'm really a fan of this skill, especially after um, after uh, skills like Q and um, uh, RMB and Tongue. It's just extra damage, so to say. So after Flowing Fist, um, mostly I go for what your appetite. Never really go for Barb Tongue anymore. I used to play a lot of Barb Tongue with Poison Tongue and just kind of like condition Wu, but I don't know. I just feel like what your appetite is so is so good because you get that extra CC going with the recharge on RMB and Q when you hit your tongue. So I'm gonna go for what your appetite second and third. I'll go for uh, Boundless Energy. Um. Boundless energy because of the reason that um, Rising Tide is going to be the next upgrade. So that after Q, if you press R and B, you're going to launch the enemy. So we're going to go Rising Tide real quick and I'm going to show you what I mean. So basically what you do is you get the CC combo now, which is really strong. Wait, maybe not on the squishy heroes here. We're going to die mid combo probably. I'm going to do it on the adult here. So you approach the enemy like this, Q, RMB, Tongue, then he should get pulled, and then R Q, RMB again. Uh, then you get this combo, and as I said, after Q, if you press RMB, he's launched. So that way he's stunned for a short while, and during his stun, like this, he's stunned, pull. And again, so it's it's really good as a Wu to to launch the enemy because it means basically for you to uh, to land a safe tongue um, because it's really easy to hit a tongue if he's launched and he can he can't move right so makes kind of sense. I wanted to kill it real quick. All right. Um, the next thing I always go for on level five upgrade is battle ready um, in order to go skirmishing afterwards. Um, on an assassin type of hero is like a must to go for skirmishing since it just gives you the like a huge advantage um, um, gives you the huge advantage over your enemies basically because if you hit him you get out of the fight and your regen is uh, two seconds quicker stamina plus um, Plus uh, health reaching out of combat tw uh, two seconds sooner. It's just really good because it means you're able to reach on quite a lot faster, which means you can go in fast, uh, quicker again, and you know do your job as an assassin. So uh, skirmishing is like a really good trait, and it's basically most in every um, uh, assassin type of hero. So at level five, you get to choose the specialization here. Um, what I always go for is longer range on tongue because I feel like the the uh, default tongue is kind of short range to be honest. Uh, with the extended tongue range, you can pull enemies. Like for example, I think you could pull if there would be any up there. I could pull them down from here. Um, it just offers you, just gives you so much more um, possibility to pull enemies down instead of no. Nope. Not quite in range, but you get a you get the idea. It's like the um, default tongue is just too close for me, uh, too short range for me. Uh, so I always go for the extended tongue range. Um, and then level six, usually I go for skirmishing right away. <clears throat> and now it's time uh, it's time for go uh, to go for the Q ability, uh, especially or uh, specialization basically. Um, as I said, there's two variations of the of this build. The one I am like almost 
playing every time as intercepting fist because Rushing water requires a lot of experience. It's really good. Um, but I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. Uh, you, you have to have this kind of experience because it's like, it's like this weird bumping around and stuff. I'm not really used to from playing Wu. So, so, but if you're like really good at it, sure, go for it because it's really good. Of me, for my part, I'm always going intercepting fist. And after that, I'm going to go dim mock which hitting raises your, uh, when you hit your Q ability, it raises your LMB crit chance to 100%. So yeah, guaranteed crits. Um, so usually I'm going for the mock then. And then we got two abilities left to spend our, um, our trades on, or our skill points on. Is a uh, flowing fist rupture or hop to it. Um, Hopted is performed flowing fist after dodging, so dodge is this, basically after the dodge, on default you do this attack. Um, if you go for hop to it, you're just gonna do, um, basically this flowing fist, you know. Um, I never felt I would really need it, so I always went for rupture, um, it's extra bleeding, extra damage. Um, I've never really tried hop to it because I simply think that it's not like useful at all. I'm not sure though. So usually I go for rupture, but I just feel like it's not necessary or it's just basically useless. So I'm always going for rupture. And then we get tongue left. So here's the thing, uh, chain armor on hit your next hit from any skill used within two seconds grants 25 armor on hit for three seconds or lick and load. Unhit your next hit from any skill used within 2 seconds deals plus 100 damage. So damage or defensive armor, that, that's basically your your pick, what do you want to go for here. Most of the time I go for Lick and Low because it's 100 free damage. But if it's like a lot of, I don't know, damage raining down on me and whatever, I'm just going for chain armor. But most of the time I'm going Lick and Low because it's um, free damage. So yeah, and... Wu is probably the hero with the most, um, how do I, how do I explain that or how do I say that, with the most, um, potential to follow up on his abilities, like the, to, um, to combo, like has the best combo potential, I guess, that's how you say it, um, so the combos you should do with Wu is always like, I never approach or I never start with the tongue because it's a reset. So you shouldn't waste your reset to start a fight because it means you're wasting basically RMB and Q ability. Um, so what I always do is I'll just run in like this to an enemy, then Q, RMB, pull, RMB again, and there we go. That's a lot of damage dealt, and if you would actually get pulled to me, um, then I would actually apply bleeds. So let's see here on the squishy heroes, basically, or squishy Motiga thingies. So yeah, it's really powerful. So yeah. And um, another thing I often see as Wu, uh, or when I play against Wu, is I'm not sure why a lot of people do it, but for example, if Wu wants to get up here, what a lot of people do is just this. Gets you here. And your RMB is now on 8 second cooldown. Um, what you should, or what you could instead be doing is just this. And you're at almost at the exact same location and now we got for a second RMB um, for a second RMB cooldown you know so I'm not sure why a lot of Wu players are just you know to get up to to a ledge or something or just you know instead of just hopping LMB they're just you know like um, doing this and now it's an 8 second cooldown for absolutely no reason 
So that's a thing I'd improve upon to just not spam your RB, you know, the downward kick if it's not absolutely necessary. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope this gave you an insight of how to play the Wu or my Wu build. Alright, so now to the, um, to the uh, other build I was talking about in the first place, um, the, the alternative basically. So it's starting the same with Flowing Fist, it's starting the same with... Uh, actually, yeah, with your appetite, never mind. Um, then here, here's the thing. Um, with this build, you are able to go for the burst, the dam. Um, somehow I still kind of prefer Boundless Energy, but um, it's possible to go for burst, the dam because of... Let's actually go for it, why not? But I'd still prefer the other one, I'm just gonna show you it. Uh, why. Um, after that, what I want to go for is, now we can go Rushing Water. And at level 5, Battle Ready again, longer tongue range. Then we're gonna go, uh, where, where, where is it, here. Uh, Recharger's Splash Kick, RB of Crashing Waves, does not bump an enemy here, so why? You can go for Downward Kick now, uh, or Burst to them rather. So it sets you basically on an 8 second cooldown if you use it, but um, if you want to disengage and you want the short cooldown for it when you're disengaging obviously, uh, when you're disengaging now you can basically, so let's say I've used it in a fight so it's an 8 second cooldown, now I want to disengage I can just press Q and now it's recharged because it didn't bump an enemy, I didn't hit an enemy um, with my rushing water. So. That's why you can go for um, burst them with 8 second guarantee cooldown now. Because of exactly this, just disengage, doesn't bump an enemy and then you get the re recharge. And yeah. So that's why. Then we go for skirmishing again. Uh, we go for um, slow zero. I'm always going for slow your target. Down RMB hits larger areas. No, I don't know. Just yeah. I don't know, I just prefer to slow on, on my target because you're an assassin, you're not trying to hit multiple persons, you're trying to assassinate one of them, right? So my um, my favorite here is uh, slower target. Then we're gonna go for the tongue. Now here's the, th the same thing as before, either you wanna go 100 free damage or more defensive. I'm actually gonna go more defensive on this build and we're gonna go for rupture again. So that's the build, <clears throat> the, the alternative. As I said, it's quite harder to hit it or to deal the same amount of damage. Since, um, so let me let me actually explain this real quick. So I'm gonna try and do the same combo I used to before. Um, so, we're, so we're doing this. So, the thing is with rushing water to hit um, a lot of damage, it's like kind of weird because you're bumping around weirdly, right? You're like this. I don't know, it just makes it hard to hit sometimes with... Yeah, sometimes it's just hard to hit. It's hard to hit the full combo with this build, but as I said, rushing water can be really good because you can distract enemies so well with it. You can just, you know, dash through enemies. You get the regen, you can dash again through enemies. You know, it's like this unpredictable build. Like, it's really unpredictable what you do with your Q. Since you're just bumping around like weird and stuff. You know, it makes it harder for the enemy to hit you, actually. <clears throat> and it's, it's kind of hard to land the combo, but it's definitely... If you're used to this and if you're good with it, it's definitely probably the build you should be going for because I feel like it's really strong if you're good at it. Um, but it's uh, again up to you what you prefer. Alright, so thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscription or comment on this video. Make sure to check out my streaming page over at Twitch plus my Twitter. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.